Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris, a mod for Man and Played Warband. Now, I was recently defeated in battle, unfortunately. And we're getting kind of frustrated now with Swadia. It's it's to do with the AI. The AI is not very bright. It needs to be sort of handheld to go and attack various castles. I can't really do it myself just because I don't have that many troops at my disposal. Okay, so I kind of paused there. I was just an idea came to my head. It occurred to me that if I was to go get a Lady Isola and help her reclaim Swadia, well, Swadia's only got one castle. So, if we were to take this castle and hold it, we could just wipe out, you know, the old Swadia, and I wonder if that means everyone automatically joins her. You know, that counts as Swadia has been conquered, if that makes sense. At which point, I imagine all the lords would come back and all that stuff. I don't know, but before when I was fighting the the, the Nords as the Nord Rebels, we had, you know, they had all this territory, so trying to conquer everything was very tricky. But, ah, that's a plan, that is. Okay. Well, in that case, let me have a look. Who are we at war with just so I know? We're at war with the Nords, so I better be careful then. But yeah, that's a plan. Also, since I need to level a lot of my troops, I'm tempted to go claim my boat and sail it away and just fight at sea and get some experience that way by fighting sea raiders and whatnot. I figure that's not a bad way of getting some experience for uh, my troops and, you know, a good starting point. Problem is though, as soon as we take that castle, everyone's going to be on us, so what I'd have to do is, hopefully once we capture it, I can tell, I can give it to the Lady Isola. And hopefully that will mean I can just put troops in there and it's not going to cost me a penny. I think that's going to be my plan now. I quite like that idea. I'm going to go ahead and try and max out my group though. Try and make sure I've got the maximum amount of people ready. To basically get them experience. I want to stay with cavalry. That seems to be a solid choice at the moment. How's my finances looking. I don't have much money to pick up, but I currently have about 56,000, which isn't bad, with more money invested here, there, and everywhere, so it's not going to take me long to rebuild. So the next time my contract's up, I'm thinking I'm just going to not renew it. See, look at this. Because I eventually, you know, I've invested all my acres of land in various places. I've just gotten 21,000 from Sargoth, 1,700 from Praven, 11, uh, sorry, 17,000, 11,000, 12,000, 16,000, 20k between these two, 14,000. See, this is all very good money, and if I don't collect it all, in fact, I'm tempted to go ahead and just invest before I do anything with uh, Lady Isola. Maybe fill out the last few acres of the remaining, you know, places I don't have uh, land at already. Because basically, this is going to be a good way to make some money. I think I'm going to do that. The last big ones are Cura and uh, Yalen, Halmar and Veluca. Do have quite a few still, but not as many. All right, I like this plan very much. So, oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. We'll go Praven first and grab that money, since it's uh, quite a lot. This is going to be the plan. I think it's going to work. That's that is if Swadia doesn't be def you know isn't defeated before we go and attack him. That would be bad. 
And keep in mind, as my money builds up, I can always start building new acres of land with any spare I get. It's going to be kind of a waste, but, you know, it's not going to hurt me in doing so. One thing I do need to do is find Jeremus again. Luckily for me. Okay. Yeah, the biggest issue is going to be once we take the castle from Swadia is getting it reinforced before everyone decides to attack us. I can dump in all of the troops I'll get and then I can drive, uh, ride around and recruit all the mercenaries I find. I'm hoping I'll be able to fill that place quickly, although it's no guarantee. Since I don't have my two-handed sword anymore, I can't really do all the, the work in trying to defend it. So, it's going to be uh, somewhat tricky, but interested in seeing how it goes. I can't actually sail with this many people. I believe my boat has a cap. Let's have a look. Yeah, max 90. Leave my, myself a bit of money. Okay, that's about half of what I need. Well, not quite, but it's a start. I think this is the best thing to do, in my opinion. We buy up all the remaining acres of land. And from there... I'll, you know... I, I won't have to worry about money again. I know I keep saying that, but it is the truth. Uh, Sono. Sono's right next to me, although it's kind of... It's not exactly clear. Uxel's got some money. Jalkala. Okay. go and have a quick look at the defensive of, uh, defenses of this castle. See everyone's patrolling around there and it's no joke. King Carlos has 300 troops. Um, while I'm here I'll see if there's anything I can do. My relation with him is going up so I probably should keep this up. Okay, that's going to be easy to do. Who's this guy? I can try and capture a Nord Lord, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, there's a tournament going on here. I do need to make money, but these tournaments never go very well for me. Right, there's more land to be purchased here. Jill Keller, Jill Keller. Oh, okay, so I still need to finish this one. I'll stop pile the money first. I'll stop pile the money. I mean, if Rodox attack us, it's going to be hard to defend this castle, but I'm confident we could we could do it. Okay, so. Bit of a battle here, let's jump into it.
Yeah, I'm quite happy with this plan, even though I'm probably going to be besieged by everyone, because we'll probably be weaker. The Lady Isola should have right to rule, so... You know, the only ones I imagine that would actually declare war against us would be... The Rodox, just because that castle belongs to them. So we really do have to just fill it with as many troops as possible. I'm going to have to go and recruit whoever I can. I may end up taking it and then losing it immediately, but... I'm hoping what will happen. Oh Christ. Oh Christ, these guys are no joke. Jeremus. I forgot what castle is at. I'm going to lose some people here. It can't be helped. Actually, yeah, bollocks that. It can be helped. Yeah, everyone go back as far as you can. I'm not going to lose any more people. It's stupid actions. These guys can't throw anything. damage to my horse which is the issue. Yeah. That's nice, I didn't realise they split off. Get ready for a fight, lads. will actually give me access to... Oh, crap. That's a lot more reinforcements than I was expecting. Uh, it's fine. What I can do is... If I've lost some troops, I can always, you know, take the rest to go on a boat. to be the, the one guy, so in that case everyone will charge. Rescue the Manhunters because they're always pretty good. Okay, need to quickly have a look and see what 
why I need to go. How come I have negative honor? That doesn't sound right. Okay. How many of these did you need? Six. Okay. Done. That was easy enough. Let's quickly go find... There he is. Oh wow, that took me my relation up with him pretty well. Did I just call him Your Majesty? What? Okay, this is an easy one. I'm assuming he's in the village next to me. It's worth me doing this because it just means when trying to convince him to come join our faction, it'll be just a lot easier, basically. Or if they don't, I can at least ask him, saying I don't want to fight. You know. Which is always a big plus. You, sir. Why are you looking so nervous? I am the law. Javelin of justice, go. There we go. This village must hate me. I can't help it if all the bloody v villains and thieves and murderers go there. It's not my fault. companions. <laughs> that works. Alright. Okay, okay. We need to find my companion. Where did they say he was? I recognize the castle when I see it, but I don't know where the castle is. Alright. Okay, Jeremus doesn't show up here. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. Where is he? Oh, was it y Yuruma? I think it was there. Okay. Well, we need to go to Veluca first. Let's go check out Veluca. Here's hoping we don't go to war with the Rodox. That'll be a pain. Right, I think I've already been here. Yeah, I did. This was the one that I needed to put more money into. That's fine. That is fine. Alright. Let's go. I should go back to Lord Despen because that will just get my relation up. Okay. Slowly collecting that money. I 
think this is going to be my task. I may continue this offline so you guys don't have to see me go around and collect everything. I could try breaking in the sun out. It's risky business though. Block him! Wait, I can run, I can run. Please don't be a dead end. Perfect, perfect. Street. Oh god, I messed it up so much. It's fine though. I don't lose my troops this way. I can just pay to be released and do it again. Headshot will kill him. Maybe that's what I need to do. In fact, this is a nice square. I can just keep running around in uh, circles. As soon as I know the layout, it's okay when I'm trying to work out where I'm going and not actually knowing where I'm going is pretty tricky. Alright, got some money, visit the tavern. I do wonder though, when I rejoin up with Lady Isola, do I ask to keep Sunno for myself or, you know, how is this going to work? Because she is, to be fair, Lady Isola of Sunno. I wonder if you can uh, marry the claimants to the throne. Does anyone know? If anyone knows that, let me know because that would probably be a good, a good way to become king. All right, let's escape this area before it goes bad. I'm probably going to run into bandits. Oh, okay. So my contract is expired, but. I think I'm going to just renew it for one more month so I can get money invested into every single settlement and try and get my relation up with the other guys a bit, a little bit more and then we'll look to uh, join up with Lady Osala. I'm pretty confident we can take that Swadian castle effectively defeating Swadia and you know reuniting the kingdom or whatever it, you know, whatever you want to call it so I think that's going to be my plan. A very cunning plan if I do say so myself. Can't wait to execute it. But the real fight comes after that when we're fighting every single faction under the sun. So... But we'll be ready. I actually need to capture one of these guys so I probably should fight him at some point. Don't really like my chances though, I've got less numbers and all my troops are undertrained. I don't have that sort of justice anymore either to destroy people with. Anyway, that's it for now. My question is does anyone know if I can marry the claimants to the throne? 
I believe it's possible with the diplomacy mod which is in Floris, but I'm not 100% certain. Anyway, thank you for watching. Join me next time.